human rights lawyer Femi Falano has written to the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malakmi seeking the release of the convener of Revolution Now protest Omoye Leshaware from the custody of the Department of State Services. Falano's letter, dated December the 13th, 2019, made available to journalists on Sunday, followed Friday's announcement by the AGF's office that it had taken over the prosecution of Shaware and his co-defendant Olawale Bakari from the DSS. The AGF's takeover of the case was informed by the widely condemned invasion of the Federal High Court in Abuja by the operatives of the DSS to rearrest Shaware on December the 6th. Falano, who heads the defense team of the two men, informed Malami that his letter became necessary after two lawyers in the team visited the DSS headquarters in Abuja to demand Shaware's release but were advised to direct their request to Malami. And Aaron, we had in the studio a legal practitioner, Dotun Hassan, and he reacted to this development. Well, I believe the AGF is being economical with the truth because uh, he has the power to discontinue. He has the power to take over prior before judgment of any case. And this case. power is bestowed on him by the, the, the Constitution? constitution. Okay. So you need, no, you need no recourse to any court before it takes his uh, decision, especially when he's taking over uh, is the, the, the request to his office is in relation to the fact that he's taking over a case from a DSS, not the court. The DSS uh, new uh, charges or new uh, investigation is not yet known to any court, especially if not for the, um, at the same court or another court will be to preside over that same case. But as far as we are concerned, the rearrest of Shore is a different case entirely. It's not before the court. There, there is no case that has been established, so meaning there is a misinformation from the table of uh, the AG. I've always uh, admitted one thing, that the taking over of the case by the AG is constitutional, but is suspicious. It is more of an eggshell rule. You take your, your case the way it comes to you. You can't deny it. It's a, it's a, it's a rep if salocutor. The fact speaks for itself. There was an invasion by a party under the, um, a, a, a case that is before Justice Ojuku. The DSS, within the precinct of the court, embarrassed the whole nation, even if they have that authority and that moral grand norm to arrest and prosecute. That should be done with reasoning. And with the way they went carelessly in uh, in a gestapo manner, in a gestapo style manner, to invade the court, embarrass the court, even chase away the judge. That on its own is a contempt of court. The AG did not raise any issue against the DSS, which it, the AG has the onus to also prosecute the DSS for such an act. But at the end of the day, it seems the, the AG is more or less, is more or less shielding the errors and the invasion committed by the DSA by the taking over is to shield the embarrassment. It is not to even safeguard our democracy or even grant the independence right to the judiciary. It's more killing for the AG not to even apologize to the old nation. I don't see such matter of this nature to be swept under the carpet. If you try to be a politician now that is in the gallo of the DSS or the AG, from the same party, maybe one will be of the opinion that the matter will be swept under the carpet. But in this re, re, uh, rate, the matter has a prima facie case that has been brought before the court. The DSS did not allow the course of law to take its, to take its course. They've, in one way or the other, invade not just the invasion that we are looking at, they've invaded justice itself. They've tried to kill the essence of hope in democracy, and that is the judiciary. And the, 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 the precedence which this administration is laying day by day is a symptom of anarchy, whereby their phobia for rule of law, for admittance of justice, display of executive recklessness, which are 
in, in uh, drowning us day by day. And there is no abatement at sight. That's the unfortunate thing. I think uh, sometimes when everything is too uh, sensationalized and politicized, we we get ourselves engrossed in a power corrupt absolutism. And that's where we are now. The AG knows what to do. But I think it is high time the NBA begins to query the decision of some of its, of, of its members. And this is one of them. The AG is not above the law. It's subject to the, the legal practitioner disciplinary committee. If he's acting out of virus of his duty, and this is one of an omission. The AG's office is sacred. It shouldn't be used in a manner that would now dispense injustice in the system. The way we are drifting, legalizing impunity on the premise of the fact that we want to make a case. Yes, if the DSS is coming up with the investigation linking Shure up with, uh, I, uh, with the Boko Haram, with the IMN and the, and the IPOP, at this, at, at, at this 99th hour, we saw the way the U.S. did their investigation of 80 Nigerians, and they were, it was thoroughly unquestionable. You could also visualize it. But at the moment, what are we running? We are only running a state of anarchy, and it's quite unfortunate that there is a need for Mr. President to act. If Mr. President is still relying that the AG has the highs, I don't think the AG is leading Mr. President rightly, especially okay. when this matter eventually gets to court. If the judge fails to also administer his whip of contempt against DSS in this matter, regardless of the fact that the matter has been taken over by the AG, the, the judge still has the onus to summon the DSS to explain their role in the arrest case that caused all this national embarrassment that our auntie is taking over.